Hi, my name is Mark Epstein. I'm a school programs educator here at MoMA, and today we're going to talk about Map by Jasper Johns. As an artist, I'm really attracted to this piece because I just think it's chaos. It's this beautiful chaos where the colors are all interacting with one another. You see his different consistencies of paint, all of these choices that Jasper Johns made. And in the background is this almost grid-like structure, this modernist idea that represents the country. I think it's jam-packed with interesting stuff to talk about. Students say often that it's a map, but that it's a map that you couldn't use if you were driving a car. You couldn't use it to find anywhere. And that Jasper Johns has put in just the basic information where you have the borders of the states, and then he stenciled in, not very carefully, but he stenciled in the names of a lot of these states. So students are sort of interested in why would you take on this idea of a map as an artist if it's not a map that you can actually use to get anywhere. What students notice when they look at this piece immediately is the different ways in which Jasper Johns put the paint physically on the canvas. So if they focus in on places like Kansas in the middle, you can see that the paint is really built up and you can imagine that he's using a really thick consistency of paint. And then as you move over to the East Coast, you're seeing that the paint gets a little bit drippier. New York, Pennsylvania. Students inevitably start to ask, why Jasper Johns has made these decisions, why the painting looks so chaotic. And usually I point them to the label where we find out that the painting was made in 1961 and we start to come up with theories about what was happening in 1961. And then kids start to take it into these metaphors. And there's ideas that come up all the time about, you know, the messiness of the country and the politics always come up and thinking about what was Jasper Johns trying to process in his head while he was taking on this image and making this piece. You can imagine Jasper Johns running around his studio flinging paint at this canvas and there's an energy to it that I think really reads when you're looking at the piece, you know, 50 years after it was made. 